All right, hey everybody, I wanted to explain a few problems out of the uh, section for 8.4, day number one on exponential growth. Okay, uh, let's take a look at each of the three problems on this page real quick. Um, each have their own important properties that we want to be aware of. So let's go ahead and start with 98, number 21. If dy et is equal to k times y. Uh, another way that this could be worded is if the change in y with respect to time is directly proportional to y, right, with a constant of variation of k. All right, just, uh, just a heads up on some wording there. And k is a non-zero constant, then what, which of the following could y equal? So let's separate our variables. Uh, we'll go 1 over y dy is equal to k dt. Go ahead and integrate both sides. Of course, each of these are going to be general solutions. So we'll go ahead and work this out. This will be the natural log of the absolute value of y is equal to k times t plus c. All right, now I'm going to take uh, both sides, e to the power of both sides. Uh, the property on the left side will give me the absolute value of y. On the right side, I will get e to the c times e to the kt. Uh, okay, so we can clearly see right now e is out. Uh, we're going to see, obviously, that d is out. Uh, so I'm going to kind of decide between the three that are left based on what I end up getting here. Okay, so I can clearly see that um, I don't have a constant like we have in um, possible solution C, right? you can see that the plus 3, I don't have a constant added on. But what I do have is that this value here, e to the power of C, is just going to be a constant. Now I can drop the absolute values at the same time. And let's say that e to the C is equal to 2. Okay, so you can see that there is the distractor of this y located up in the exponent in this possible solution. Uh, that's not going to match, therefore our answer would be b. Okay, let's look at 84. Population y grows according to the equation dy dt equals k times y, where k is a constant, t is measured in years. This is a calculator allowed question, so I have that thing readily available. If population doubles every 10 years, and the value of k is what? Well, we know that uh, the amount of time it takes for a population to double would be equal to the natural log of 2 over k. Therefore, uh, 10 would equal the natural log of 2 over k. And thus, k would equal the natural log of 2 over 10. Uh, which I believe comes out to be a. I cannot emphasize enough how important this is right here, this formula equation for finding uh, the time it takes for a particular population or bacteria to grow or decay at a certain rate. So if I want the amount of time it takes for a population to grow p-fold or decay p-fold, uh, I use this. So here's your general equation you're going to want to be uh, privy to as we move forward. All right, AB03 or 2003 number 12. The rate of change of the volume V of the water in a tank with respect to time T is directly proportional, very important, to the square root of the volume. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to think of, right, the uh, directly proportional piece will be K times Whatever it is they're saying it's proportional to, the square root of volume. Okay, so immediately, right, uh, the following possible answers are out. Okay, just to, to note part D, that would be an inverse proportionality. Inversely proportional. So I gotta go here between B and E. Now, I know that they tell me that the rate of change of the volume is proportional, directly proportional to k times the square root of the volume. Therefore, 
E would be my solution. This is just V of T. So the volume is equal to K times the square root of the volume. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so there you go. E is your answer. Let's move on to the next slide. Interesting question here. Uh, 2008, number 22, non-calculator. A rumor spreads among a population of N people at a rate proportional. Now, if they don't say direct or inverse, you can assume direct proportionality to the product of the number of people who have heard the rumor and the number of people who have not heard the rumor. Okay, so total number of people, okay, number of people who have heard the rumor, okay, P denotes the number of people who have heard the rumor. So P is equal to number of people who have heard And n minus p will be equal to the number of people who haven't heard the rumor. Why are they even talking about rumors anyways? Okay, let's set up this differential equation. Okay, reminder. Uh, the differential equation is uh, set up in the following way. So dp dt, right, the number of people or the change in the number of people who have uh, heard the rumor is proportional, okay, so directly proportional, we always, always tag that uh, constant of proportionality, times directly proportional, so we multiply by the product of those who have heard it and those who have not. And I think, yep, there it is. Okay, um, hope that made sense. See your teacher if you got questions. See you next time.